What up, Six Talio here. I'm going to be showing you how to put APN settings for T-Mobile US on a factory unlocked iPhone 4. And I just barely got this last Saturday, so yeah. Let's go ahead and show you that it's actually the factory unlocked, not just a jailbroken version. And, ah, oh, shit, I'll service. Oh, well. Anyway. About. Yeah. 4.3.3 base band. and as I know this is blurry but I'm using an XSS for recording this video anyway I may need to jailbreak your iPhone to get these settings to stay on your phone even though you can just enter them But just so you know, it's the same exact settings as any other unlocked iPhone for T-Mobile. You can also get simple mobile settings if you need them. It works just the same, but not with T-Mobile. It's the same settings, blah, 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 uh, 2, 1, 6, 1, 5, 5, 1, 6, 5, normal, MMS proxy. Anyway, um... How to keep the, these settings on your phone after rebooting. Let's go into Cydia. Show you how to install these. And there you go with the T-Mobile again. Ooh, T-Mobile. And let's see. Go to Manage, Sources. And we're going to use pushfix.info repo. Simply just go to the T-Section. T-Mobile US MMS fix. This isn't a hack version, it's just a oh, install tool. Just like monitor, uh, install, confirm it, it installs it. And the exact source to enter is cydia.pushfix.info forward slash. I'll put the link in the description because I know you probably can't see that. But yeah, after the phone reboots or respring's, whatever the option city gives you, simply so go into your settings and type in epc.tmobile.com, or if you have the ten dollar internet, just go with uh, I think it's www.voicestream.com. I haven't used that one in a long time. But yeah, that's your APN settings. Now, um, you may or may not know how to jailbreak 4.3.3 on the iPhone 4. For the factory unlocked version, it's just the same. Exactly the same. The only difference between this one and the AT&T or Verizon, well not Verizon, AT&T one, is it's factory unlocked. And it's searching, damn it. Oh well. Anyway, let's go ahead and plug it to the computer. No RC thing. You go ahead and browse. Turn the brightness down for you. Go into my Ponish folder. I have a lot of these, so I don't organize them. And we're going to select the iPhone 4 4.3.3 restore file. Put a link where to download this in the description. Successfully identifies. Next. Alright. And because I'm already jailbroken, I can select other um, features that I enable on my phone. So I'm just going to go and select the allow boot animation. And a note on this, jailbreak first with only install Cydia, and then you can go back through and then install Cydia and allow boot animation. That way you won't fuck your phone up. Just a little note on that, click next. Alright, we're going to go and put it into DFU mode. 
Rindy a few mode. Yay. Stupid factory plastic. Mm. God damn. Anyway, now it's in DFU mode. Go ahead, click next. Identifies job breaking, fire marine, blah blah blah. Alright. There is the box. Oh, and another more proof to show this is the factory unlock version. Okay. No carrier on the back of the box. Yay. Anyway. That's how you install APN settings, also how you jailbreak the device. Yeah, you should where all those come from. Oh well. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and if you want to watch my unboxing video of my unlocked iPhone. Yeah. Also you get these cases right here for two, three bucks on eBay. Uh, look for it if you want one. It's fucking awesome. This guy is today. Very cool. But, anyway, uh, this is Italio signing out. And, yeah.